the Big Apple New York. Here we come. How's it going, boys? We're nearly there. Right now, we're passing a tiny little island near Bermuda. Huh? The Bermuda Triangle? Hope we don't disappear. Ah! Oh, what was that? Just a thunderstorm. But I better get back to the controls. Buckle up, boys, all right? Look at the lightning! It's pink! <laughs> you watch too many movies, Obaid. It was only a storm. But, Dad, I can't get any service on my phone at all. Why don't you boys try up there? There may be a signal. Try that, and I'll look at the engine. But listen, don't go too far. Okay, Dad. See you later. Come on, guys. Yeah, <laughs> let's. <laughs> Come on. Mm. Guys, guys. Huh? Over here! Look there! Huh? They look like pirates! <laughs> no way! You guys, don't be silly! It's a movie shoot! Let's go check it out! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Our quest is almost at an end, my friend. <laughs> and cut! Huh? 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 Mm -hmm. Hold uh -huh. on. They're only boys. Who are you? Um, I'm Mansoor, and these are my friends, Obaid and Salem. Are you shooting a movie? Movie? What is this movie? You know, a movie like this. Mm hmm? Look there. I'm making some action. Oh. <laughs> what is this? The boy has trapped little people inside of this little box thingy. What's with these guys? Hey, Jabal, secure the boat. My name is Sinbad. Sinbad? You mean just like Sinbad the sailor? Sailor, adventurer, hero at your service. Mm. Hmm? What's going on? I'm so confused right now. That guy's crazy. Maybe not. Think about it. The storm, my phone acting all weird and stuff, and these guys over here don't even know what a movie is. You mean the Bermuda Triangle? I think you were actually right about everything, Obaid. That storm was a time portal. <clears throat> Forgive me, but time is not my friend. You see, we have sailed the seven seas far and wide to reach this far off place. My princess fails even as we speak. Princess? Princess Alia. Alia of Baghdad. She has been poisoned by the evil Sultan Kader. And Kader wishes to claim her throne, and I must save her now. The only thing that can save the princess from her fate is the star of Nashira, a tiny flower that grows only here on this island. A flower? That sounds easy enough. I wish that were true, my young fellow. But the flower grows at the top of a giant tree in the Valley of Scorpions. Scorpions? Well, at least it isn't snakes. Snakes, too. Many snakes to be, in fact. But now we must go. Ready, Jabal? Wait up, Sinbad. Maybe we can help. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> I believe these tunnels right here will lead us to the giant tree. Uh, I don't really like this. It looks dangerous. Oh, it is. So touch nothing. 
The men who built this place filled it with many traps to prevent anyone from entering. <laughs> Follow me, let's go, let's go! <laughs> Stop! Is something wrong? Yes, I think I see something. Hmm. Hmm, hmm. <clears throat> I knew it, just as I thought. The traps that were put in place are still working. What do we do now? We make shield. Huh? Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Salem! You look like a real warrior with that shield you made. Jabal! Go and make some more for the rest of us. Oh, man! I didn't sign up for this! We'll be fine, Salem. Look, it's working! Wait up! Oh, 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 help me! Help me! Obaid, oh, whatever you do, do not look uh. down! Huh? Snakes! Oh, man! I hate snakes! <laughs> oh, Obaid, let go of your granola bar! Never! Obaid, the snakes! Obaid. We're here. Behold, the Star of Nashira. Oh. Hold on. Do you really think this will hold no, us? Don't do it. Oh. Oh. All is lost. Oh, to have come so far and to then fail. The fate of my princess is sealed now. Hmm. Not so fast. I've got an idea. Huh? What is that thing? Meet my friend Nano. He's going to save the princess. Oh, wow. Oh. Greetings there, Mentor. Hey, Nano. Got a little job for you. That is absolutely incredible! That's Nano! I owe you a great debt, Mansoor. And all of you, you will be heroes. And many stories will be told of you, I promise. Mansoor, look! The huh? storm! Oh. oh! The time portal! We have to leave now! Take this as a token of gratitude. <laughs> Goodbye! Goodbye! Master! Huh? Uh -huh. Dad! <laughs> Good luck, Sinbad! We're about 20 minutes away from New York. Funny thing is, we're somehow eight hours behind schedule now. It's probably something about the Bermuda Triangle. 
I think you're right, Obaid. I think you're right. This week's experiment is all about energy efficiency. Your task is to suspend a member of your team in midair. That's easy. But without using an engine or a motor. Hmm, not so easy. Get into teams, and then you can start your experiments outside. Please help yourselves to anything that you think may help you obtain your scientific goal. We could take the string and wrap it around two chairs. And then maybe have two of us sit on the chairs and one of us lies on the string. I think that might work out, you guys. <laughs> well, that's huh? a good idea. Thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Huh? That's not fair. Don't worry, Obeyed. None of this stuff is very useful. I've got some better things at home. What about these? Huh? Hmm. 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 Yeah, they could support someone, I suppose. We might as well try. Okay, Obeyed, get on it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to be suspending him, not sinking him. Help me! I can't get up! <laughs> you may continue working on it at home, but you must show your findings to the class tomorrow. Come on, let's go back to my house. I've got my tools there, and we can get this work done properly. I'm sure of it. I'm going to pick Sarah up from a party. See you boys later. So how are we going to solve this science experiment thing? I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Water! No thanks, I've got some juice. No, we could use water pressure to suspend you. How's that gonna support him? I've got a plan. Okay, this highly pressurized water squirter should do the trick. It's full of water and ready to go. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It needs more pressure. Uh -huh. Hold on, Obey. Uh -huh. Oh, it's working. Okay, Obeyed, we'll think of something. <gasps> We're hey back. Hmm. That's it! Whoa! Uh, I don't really think one balloon is going to hold me up. You're right. One won't do it, but lots of them will definitely do the job. <laughs> don't worry, Obeyed. What could possibly go wrong? Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> 
After calculating all the data, we know we need exactly 48 balloons to suspend Obeyed in midair. Hmm. How many balloons have you blown up, Obeyed? Nearly 200. What? Uh. Wait up! We only need 48 of them! Stay in the garage! What? What are we going to do? We need to burst three quarters of those balloons. But how? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Hmm. <gasps> Nano can fly up and burst them. Nano? Uh. But how? There's nothing sharp on him. Quickly, find something sharp. Uh. Oh! I think that'll do it. Any of you have solved this scientific riddle. We'll start with T-Rex team. Lo and behold, watch the string support my weight. 
Oh, 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 oh. Nice try, Tarek. Mansoor, has your team been successful? Ha! <laughs> This'll never work. What a joke. Through careful scientific research, we calculated exactly how many balloons were needed to suspend obeyed. Oh. And we also discovered that if you quadruple the number of balloons attached, it's possible to float really high, even higher than planes. <laughs> A funny joke, Obeyed. No, I'm not joking, sir. Huh? He's joking, right? No, he's not. Oh! <laughs> uh. Congratulations to Mansour's team for successfully solving the challenge. That's what you think, you villain. You, you, um, what was my line again? Cut! Someone get on my script! You know, they say this movie is actually based on a true story. <laughs> a true story where they were caught by a superhero? <laughs> oh, yeah, really? Okay, well, maybe not that part, but the jailbreak part of it is a true story and they happen to be filming it in the exact location that the escape took place in. It's true. The prisoners are supposed to have escaped from a prison just beyond those hills using the intricate tunnel system in the caves below. Look! He dropped the script. Huh? This is my one and only chance to meet my favorite superhero of all time. Come on! Yes? Huh? Hello, Mr. Ahmed Hamdan. Uh, I'm sorry to bother you. Uh... Uh, we just wanted to give you... <laughs> it's uh, no bother at all. Uh, I'm always happy to meet my fans. Huh? You know, I uh, was exactly <laughs> like you once. I was all starry-eyed and full of hero worship. But that alone wasn't enough to turn me into the world's biggest action hero today. You know what I was? What? I was brave. That's how I attained uh, all of this fame. Because uh, bravery can never be acted. If you're not brave in person, you can never portray it convincingly on screen. So, I now have a question for you, my young friend. How brave are you? Um, I'm sorry about that, my young friend. I was just uh, shaken a little by the fall. Now, let's find a way out of this place as fast as we can. Okay, I'm not worried. After all, I'm with the world's bravest action superhero. Just lead the way. You're right. Follow me. <laughs> huh? Huh? Ah! Huh? 
Help! Help me, please! Please, please don't let me fall. Help me. I have a wife back home and a family. Help me. Um, uh, look, would you just help me up? Oh, of course. Yes, hold on. Hey, there's a ledge under you. But I'll never make it. Uh, but it's right beneath you? Uh, no, it's too far. Would you just help uh, me get up, please? All right, just swing up towards me. Uh, uh, hold on. Uh, oh, my friend, Mansoor. Hello, Mansoor. Uh, yeah. Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Uh, are you okay? Are you okay? Uh, mm. uh, uh. <laughs> well, the truth is, I'm not sure I can take much more of this. Don't you worry. I just spoke to Mansoor. He's going to help guide us out of here. And besides, I don't think anything worse than this will happen to us. Right? Huh? Uh? 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 <laughs> The only thing you had to do was take care of the key. I planned out our escape from prison. I got the pickaxe and smuggled into prison. The only thing you were supposed to do is take care of the key. And yet you lost it. Uh, don't you know how to start a car without the key? I'm a criminal mastermind. I'm not a car thief. I don't know how to start cars without a key. Huh? 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 Uh. Uh. Look! The car keys! Huh? Get oh! <laughs> Okay, now we really need to get out of here. You're the great action hero. You have any ideas? Yeah, we head for the exit. <laughs> huh? Huh? Uh. Huh? Okay, mm -hmm. but which one should we take? Stop! Uh, stop! <laughs> <laughs> Someone help us! <laughs> Hello? Mansoor, help us! Oh, it sounds like there are some criminals that have broken out of jail exactly the same way as in the story. And the same way that Ahmed Hamdan is portraying in the movie. Exactly, that's right. So how did it end the first time? You're Ahmed Hamdan's assistant. How were the prisoners captured the first time they escaped? I think it was something to do with underground caves and a GPS. Um, it was something like that, wasn't it? Well, I could tell you. But then I'd ruin the ending of the movie. Are you sure you want to know what happens at the end? Yes! Oh, I just remembered something. I've signed a secrecy clause. I can't reveal the storyline. Obeyed. We're not getting any help out here. Go ask Ahmed Hamdan. I don't think I'm going to get any help from him either, Mansoor. I'm sending you the exit location as a pin to your phone now. Just work your way towards it and then we'll call the police, okay? Well, Mansoor, that may not be as easy as it sounds. Oh dear, no. I think I know exactly what's happening here. Look, I'm sorry, but there's something you have to know. What? Uh, well, the truth is, I'm not sure how to say it, but Ahmad isn't as brave as you think. You don't say! There's only one thing to be done whenever he gets like this. What's that? Give him his cape. Oh, give him his cape? That's right. It's part of his costume. He changes whenever he has it on. That's great and all. But how am I going to get his cape down hey. here, huh? Someone order a superhero cape? Mm. Ha! Ah. <laughs> This is the last time I break out of jail with you! Aw, oh, don't be like that. We'll find the car keys. All we need to do now is... Oh. Huh? Uh, uh. Stop! What was that? What's what? Where? <gasps> Forget the keys. Let's get out of here. You're not going anywhere! <laughs> He's everywhere! 
This way! Here we are! We need to go back inside! Hurry! Hurry! It's him! Or the police! No! No! Keep him away from us! We give up! We give up! Keep him away from us! We give up! That was extremely brave of you, Mr. Ahmed Hamdan. They were dangerous criminals. Lots of people would have been scared to confront them. Ha! <laughs> well, fear doesn't ever scare me, officer. Courage is my middle name. I certainly have what it takes, and I also, uh... I had a lot of help from these boys here. I couldn't have done it without them. Well, good job, boys. You'll get a special mention in my report. I can just see the headlines tomorrow. Prison breakers! Caught by the world's best superhero. What are the odds, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Till we get to Jeddah. I want to finally check out the Red Sea and find some really incredible giant sea turtles out there. Giant sea turtles? Yes, giant sea turtles. They're huge, you'll see. Sorry, but there's no such thing. Yes, yes there is. Look, it's here on the internet. The internet isn't always right, <laughs> especially not a site called monstersofthedeep.com. There. Voice recognition and mimic applications have now been installed. Um, in simple terms. Okay, Nano can now hear voice levels and patterns, learn them, and then mimic them. Oh! I still don't get it. Watch! Mm -hmm. Hey, what's going on? Just wait for it. Mm -hmm. You're going to be impressed. Yaraba! Oh. Yaraba! Mm -hmm. Yaraba! Huh? Awesome! That sounded <laughs> just like me! Faris Awad? Yeah, you're right. I'm impressed. How did you do it? Did that drone oh. just copy my voice? Yes, this is a smart drone. It can learn the way you speak and then have an entire conversation in your voice. Isn't that so cool? Where can I get one? Mm, well, you can't. I built this one. Oh, that's too bad. I could sure use the help of that drone. I haven't had a break in ages. Now I'm off to commentate on the Beach World Cup, so that drone could come in handy. Really? Yeah. I think we might be able to help you. We're heading there ourselves. You know, I think we have a good chance of winning this year. The home advantage will help a lot. You bet. We'll be huh? on our way to the game and be helping out the commentator there. A commentator? How will you do that? Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, obeyed? Uh. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Today's match will be one to remember as Turkey takes the lead in starting the game. This certainly won't be an easy match for the home side, who are going to be taking on the Brazil team in a sport that the South Americans have come to dominate over the last couple of years. Hmm. 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 Hmm.
Oh, uh, excuse me. No problem. I wonder, could you tell us where we can find a boat to rent for the day? No. Uh, mm. No, of course. This is your lucky day. I have one right here, and it's going for a great price. How much? It is free if you take it right now and have it back before sundown. It's a special offer if you take it right now. Like right now, now, like now, now, now. Sounds good to me. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is just what I needed. A relaxing day out on the water. <laughs> Where are they? <laughs> Where are all the smuggled animals hidden? Animals? What animals? I'm afraid you've been misinformed, officers. <laughs> this is for the sea turtles. I read online it's their favorite food. See? It's too bad. I wonder where the giant sea turtles are hiding. We told you there's no such thing, Obeyed. Those are only stories. But, uh... It's like Mansoor told you. You can't believe everything you read on the internet. Can I try driving the boat? Do you know how to drive it? <laughs> I watched a tutorial. <laughs> The water's great. We should do some snorkeling. Are you sure you don't want to come with us, Obeyed? I'll just keep an eye on the boat. <laughs> hey, Obeyed, if I happen to miss it, say hello to the giant sea turtle for me. <clears throat> Calling all boats on the Jetta Coast. Uh -huh. A famous animal smuggler was arrested earlier today in the docks, but the whereabouts of his boat remain unknown. The boat's registration number is 77. Approach with extreme caution. Oh, no. Huh? But why did he say to approach with extreme caution? Huh? Huh? Hey, stop it! Go away! Go! Go! Fire extinguisher! Oh, right! There it is! Huh. Oh, well, how do I use it? Uh, there must be a manual around here somewhere. No, no! Uh, no! Uh, oh, okay. Easy. Whoa. No! Couldn't be. Was that a leopard? Strawberry is my last hope for help. After this, the sea will take over. Obeyed! Oh, We've only been gone half an hour! What happened? The boat! It's sinking! It's been burned! Um, and there's an unfriendly leopard behind us! Suddenly, the day doesn't seem so relaxing anymore. Anyway, this is 
the only thing that is going to help us get back to land. You aren't seriously still waiting for the giant sea turtle, are you? Obey, giant sea turtles don't even exist. They're just a myth. We need to figure out a realistic way to get ourselves out of here. Hey, guys, look there. Listen, even if giant sea turtles did exist, how useful would they be now? I mean, I'm not sure which is worse, drowning or being eaten by a leopard. Or missing out on the free ride, because we are never going to get this boat back on time. <laughs> Giant sea turtles were real, just look. Hey guys, uh -huh. look there! Stay where you are. We're approaching now. I think a congratulations are in order. Uh huh? You found the smuggler's boat. The, the smuggler? smuggler? Yes. Uh -huh. And as you can see, mm -hmm. the leopard he was smuggling oh. is safe and sound. Well, guys, I did tell you that it was a long story. Oh, babe! <gasps> Catch him! Uh huh? Hey, guys, I just had the weirdest dream. So I was stranded on a boat and... <laughs> that wasn't a dream. Not even when it caught fire? Nah. And the leopard? Nope. What about Ferris Allwood? That can't have been real. I'm afraid so. It was awesome meeting all you boys, but your idea of a relaxing afternoon is a bit too much for me. I don't think I'll be able to take a day off again soon. Also, Nano had done so well commentating on the tournament that my phone hasn't stopped ringing since we got back. Yeah, Nano! <laughs> <laughs> You, Grandpa, are you ready? Yeah, sure. Salem, huh? obey. Huh. Ready? Yeah, ready. Okay, science project homework. Scene one, take one. Action! Let's investigate the different properties of solids, liquids, and gases. Terrific idea. Take a look at all these liquids here. They can either flow or pour like this. But they're not that easy to hold, though. No, sir. It's quite impossible. Solids keep their shape. They do not flow like liquids. They serve their own purpose. That's right. And look over there. If you were to heat up a liquid, it can turn into a gas. Hmm. And cooling a liquid can turn it into a solid. Isn't science just so fascinating? Elementary, my dear Obeyed. Cut. Brilliant! <laughs> well done, everyone! Our science project is complete! <laughs> huh? What's that? It's called acting. No, not that. I mean that! What's she up to? I have no idea. But she's trying not to be seen. Hmm. Mm hmm? <laughs> it's a riddle that must be solved. Elementary, my dear Mansoor. The case of the mysterious cousin. <laughs> huh? Oh, huh? there's our culprit now. Look. 
We must follow her at once. There! <laughs> See any clues? Not a single one. Let's look over here. Oh, hello, guys. Uh, Shama, uh, fancy seeing you here. <laughs> yeah, um, listen, I've got to go. See you later. Mmm, the plot thickens like clam chowder soup. The case of the mysterious cousin becomes more mysterious. Come on, let's see where she's going. I think she saw us! Quickly! In here! In here! She'll never recognize us now! Let's go! What's in that package? That's a picture frame for sure. I wonder who she's talking to. Maybe... Her partner is a criminal mastermind. Yeah, that is the only logical explanation. Oh, ah, here they come right now. It's your uncle and auntie. Are they criminal masterminds we're dealing with? I didn't think they were, but we gotta find out for certain. What do you think is in that box? I bet it's a big pile of money or jewelry. Uh, 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 sorry. Uh, huh? Uh, our bed. Quick, they're getting away. What does the evidence tell us, my dear Obeyed? Well, I'll tell you. The culprit is parked near the exit. For a quick and easy getaway, they're more cunning than we expected. A fine deduction. But what do you suppose Shama's doing there? Probably finding the most expensive, most rare piece of art to run off with. So let's go and catch her red-handed like the criminal she is. Huh? Where has she gone? Right there. Oh. She got away. She is a most devious foe. Don't you worry. We will find her. Come on, detective friends. Let's go this way. Huh? What's going on? It's probably just a fire alarm test. Or perhaps there's a robbery going on. No way. She couldn't possibly have done this. Of course not. We're just having a bit of fun. We don't really think that Shama stole a painting, do we? Hmm. Hmm. Hey, guys, you need to look at this. Nano, can you identify this picture, please? It is the morning sunrise, a very valuable painting, currently being displayed in the City Art Museum. Currently being stolen from the City Art Museum. Thanks so much, Nano. Listen, I don't believe Shama really took the painting, so let's do some real detective work. If the picture is still here, we know Shama didn't take it. That makes sense. Let's go. According to this, the morning sunrise painting should be right over there. What on earth? Oh, she actually took it. I can't believe it. There's no way. This just got really serious, you guys. <gasps> no! Impossible. But look at the evidence. She acted suspiciously in your garden. 
She was acting so weird in the mall. And the alarms went off. And Shama totally left with the painting. Yeah, and now it's not here. No, there must be a logical explanation for this. There is! Your cousin and her family are art thieves! We gotta tell the police! No! I need to speak to her first. Hello? Hey there, Shama. How are you? I'm good, and you? Uh, good, thanks for asking. Did you do the homework? Of course. It was good seeing you at the mall. Oh, I didn't see oh, you. Oh, that's okay. I understand that you were in a rush. Yeah. What else have you been up to? Just got home after You shopping. just went home? Bye. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, right. yeah, I'll see you at my house later for dinner, yeah. See you soon. Okay, then, bye for now. All right, bye. I don't believe it. Shama actually stole it! A priceless masterpiece from the museum! And to think she's going to put that beautiful painting in the cheap gold frame from a stinky old mall! Wait, she's coming to your house for dinner later? Yeah. What are you going to do? I guess I'll have to confront them. And I need you two there. Take a seat, fellas. Mansoor, I'll be away on holiday next week, so I won't be around for your birthday. But I still wanted to get you a present. Um, thank you. I've shown it to everyone, and they think it's great. Your entire family is in on this. It wasn't easy to get, though. I couldn't find it in the mall, so instead I had to go somewhere else. <laughs> so happy birthday, Mansoor! You may not want to show this. You might want to keep it private. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Shama. Thank you. Mm. <gasps> huh? <laughs> <laughs> what? The three of you are the worst detectives ever, you know that? <laughs> uh, I don't understand, Shama. Let me explain this to you. Okay, so I went to the mall so I could get you the frame that you're holding. And then I went to the art museum to get you this print of a beautiful morning sunrise. Mm. But I saw you three running around in those silly beards. I didn't think you had seen us. How could I miss you guys? I mean, really. But then how do you explain this morning in the garden? You were filming something, and I didn't want to ruin your shot. What about the alarms? And the missing painting? The painting was removed to be cleaned, but they accidentally set the alarms off. Nothing nefarious going on there. It was on the front page of the newspaper, you know. I'm sorry, Shama. You really thought the evidence was overwhelming. <laughs> the evidence is overwhelming that you three are crazy. What about the box full of money and jewelry? Someone explained that to me. Huh? <gasps> oh! <laughs> <laughs> you jumped to the wrong conclusions. What do you got to say about that? Uh, who would like some cake? <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha Obeda has been reading ancient tales about magic carpets. So listen, how cool would it be if we created a magic carpet of our own for real, Mansoor? Stop messing around. Can't you see I'm busy? You do like aerospace engineering. Do you think you can make this fly? Whoa. It would make a good science project. <sighs> a good science huh? project? You bring me a fairy tale and talk about science? Let me get back to my work.
Now wake up! Clear the way, stranger! You fell asleep on the road! Huh? Did we get here? Salem, what's going on here? Who's Salem? Huh? Um. Don't be so silly, Salem. Huh? Can I have some of that bread? Um. That'll be three coins. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, let me look in my bag and see if I've got that. <laughs> Hello there, Mansoor. Uh, sorcerer. <laughs> It's okay. Look, Salem, it's just Nano. But look, I don't have any coins. I've got no money. A sorcerer and a thief. Huh? Huh? Mm. huh? Hey! Make way, everyone, for the Great Sultan! a magic carpet for me. A magic carpet? Wait, but I don't know anything about magic carpets. But I just saw you fly that one all around my kingdom. You can have it if you like it so much. No. You shall come over to my palace, and you will work only with the finest of my Persian carpets. But I can't make a carpet fly. No one can. At least I don't think so. Yes, he can. <laughs> Who can? Him. I've seen his magic. Huh? Take him to the palace dungeon. Uh, huh? You know what? Take them all away. What? Huh? Listen to me carefully. You three must make me the best flying carpet in the land or else. Uh, uh, make that carpet fly or else. You have until this evening to make it work. Lock the door. Now fly like an eagle and soar like a pigeon. Wings of a... I implore you, rise. You'll never be able to make it fly like that, Obeyed. Who's Obeyed? Who are you talking to, strange one? I'm talking to you. Oh, never mind. It's nothing. Stop talking to that carpet. It's not going to do you good. It's crazy. Well, at least he's trying unlike you. You haven't done a thing, magician. I'm not a magician. I'm an engineer and inventor. But you have magic in your bag there. What I have is Nano in my bag. He's not magic. He's just a robot. Let me show you guys, okay? <laughs> Hello, you two. <laughs> ah, it's magic! It's magic! <laughs> There's absolutely nothing to worry about. <laughs> Grandpa! No, I'm just the dungeon master. Oh, the thing is, I'm gonna need some things. I'm gonna make the carpet fly for the Sultan. I'll need your help. What do you need? That table, some string, some wire, uh, a hammer, some nails, uh, and a saw, please. Would you also like four of those big wing-like fans that keep the Sultan cool when it's hot? Hmm? That would be great. Thank you. All 
right, guys. Time to build a real flying carpet. We're gonna show that Sultan a magic carpet, and then we're all gonna escape on it! Just... Hey! Huh? Hmm. Hmm. I was told that the three of you will perish, whether you succeed on your quest or not. Uh. Mm. Mm. Do you think that you can get us out of here, Shama? Address me properly. I am the Princess Shama. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Your Highness. Allow me to correct my grave error. Can you help us, Princess Shama? That is exactly why I'm here, prisoner. We need to get this up there. After that. Hey. Don't let them escape. Hurry, guys. Oh, I'm sorry. How very clumsy of me. <laughs> Hello, everybody! <laughs> Come on, guys! The guards are right behind us! Hurry! Hurry up! Quickly, quickly! They're here, they're here! Come on, hurry up! There they are! Falling to their doom. Mansoor, Mansoor, time to wake up, Mansoor. Uh, it's okay, Mansoor, you had a bad uh, dream. It was the strangest thing. You wouldn't believe it if I told you, Grandpa. Well, Mansoor, you can tell me about it later because right outside, you've got two guests in the garden. Salem and Obeyed? We've got a magic carpet to make. The whole kingdom is at stake. 